This is the crazy planet cube Venus. My cube is bandaged on the white layer and on the opposite yellow layer. And all of the other layers are unbandaged and spin independently. First thing I'm going to do with Venus is to turn all of the inside, inside white edges up to the white face. Now the next thing that I'm going to do, as you can see, is all of these inside edges don't move from their orbits, so I'm going to move down all of the white inside edge pieces. I'll start with an orange one and turn it down into that center layer. Now we have to use the center layers to join things together because we can't use the top of the bottom layer. So I'm going to look for the orange one, which is there, place it in that position, lift up the white one that I've just placed on it, do two turns, and put it back down. Then two turns will replace that back to where it was. And I'm just going to keep going and fill the rest of those in with that technique. There's the blue one. Turn it to the opposite side. Turn it up. Two turns. Turn it back in. Two turns to bring that back down. There's the green one. <coughs> Put the green one that side, turn it up into position, two turns, back down, two turns. The red one, down into this position, place the red one this side, turn it up, two turns, back down, two turns and my white cross is completed. The next thing I'm going to do is to place the inside edge pieces around the sensor layer and that will automatically place the top layer because all the pieces in this top layer here or they'll automatically place the pieces in the top face because the top layer is automatically is, is already placed. Um, so I'll start by looking in the top face to see a few pieces that I can place. There's a green one and I can just lift that up, put it in and turn it back down and just complete, complete that, the rest of the pieces with that method. Red one, up, replace, down, orange one, up, replace, down. Up, replace, down, up, replace, down, and like I said, once the last ones go in, this is already completed. The next thing I'm going to do is to place all the outside edge pieces in the middle layer. I'm going to look for one in the top, one of the outside edges in the top that doesn't have yellow on it. So if it doesn't have yellow on it, it belongs in here. There's one. Line it up with the same colour centre and turn it down, down, up, up. And line it up again with the same colour centre and turn it into place. There's the last one. <coughs> and that bottom part of what I would call the cage is completed. The next thing that I'm going to do is to check the orientation of the yellow outside edge pieces in the top layer. And I've got two that are 
not orientated correctly. So I'm going to flip these over and I'm going to do that by performing a U-turn and down, down, up, up. I'm going to take this edge piece to the other side of this piece that just came out of my center and I can just do that with soon. And then I'm going to just put that piece back in. And that little sequence orientates those two correctly and all four are now orientated. The next thing that I'm going to do is to line up all of the inside and outside edge pieces along that top layer. I'm going to look and see if I've got one, and in this case I do have one uh, that's colour matched, and then I'm going to cycle the orange one this way with soon. and that has placed all of my pieces. If I didn't have one that was colour matched I could just pl apply that randomly and I would get one that would colour match and then I could put it at the front there and cycle those three around. What it's done, what it does is it cycles from this, this one to here, here, here and back. Now it's possible to come across a situation where we have two outside edge pieces that are switched like that and in that case I can either cycle them around until they get next to each other or if they're next to each other I can put them on the on the back edge and on the right edge and perform the parity alg which is R U minus R U R U R U minus R minus U minus R2 U and as you can see that fixes that situation. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place all of the small inside circle corners these little guys along this top layer. Now there's a full explanation of how and why this works in my tutorial for the Crazy Planet Cube Mercury so I won't go into too much detail about how it's going to work but I will, exp I will explain a little bit. I'm going to look in the bottom face here for one of the colours that's needed here. In this case I can see green is needed right there. So I will turn green off of this edge piece and I will put this piece down. Then I will turn the green piece onto this edge piece and replace this edge cycle around the corner there. And how I'll do it is I'll just look for my edge piece that belongs in there and turn that down as my first part of my four turn sequence. Once that goes back in, that inside circle corner is placed. And I'm going to go around and do that for all of those inside circle corners. There's a blue one. I need one blue one here. I'll turn that blue one off. Turn that down. Down, up, up. I'm just turning across this intersection of the pieces turn that blue piece onto its place where it belongs and turn this back up by replacing this piece back down 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 up up um, and that's as you can see that's placed got another orange one that I can put here I'll turn that off to the side I just can't use that because otherwise it'll turn to the side down, down, up, up, replace that on and
turn that down into its position. Down, down, up, up. There's a red one. I need a red one in there. It's there this time, so I don't have to worry about turning it off. I can just turn down, down, up, up. Turn it on and replace this down. Down, down, up, up. I change my hand position for the video, I think. Now you can see they're all done except one that's green. And there's one green one up here at the back corner. Now to do this, I'm going to need one, if, if it is placed, away from my cycle down. So I can turn this one down two turns, down to here. And then I can turn this down into that position. Turn that on turn it back up, so I'll turn this edge piece down to there, then I can turn that back into its original position and turn that back up and that's placed my last piece. I'm just going to flip the cube upside down and do exactly the same with these edge pieces down here. I've got an orange one that I need to use, I'm going to turn this orange one down, 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 up, up. Turn the edge piece that needs to go onto this onto it, and then when I turn that edge piece back up into place, that edge piece will go up with it, as you can see. So I'll turn this one down into position, down, down, up, up, and there it goes. <clears throat> Notice how I'm able to keep the layout of the cube completely during this process. I've got no more but I've got a blue one up here. I can do two turns to put that blue one down to there. Turn this one that should be blue down. Turn that blue one onto it and replace it out. Turn it back into its original position. You can tell by this edge piece that it needs to below that one. So I can just turn that back into alignment with that and turn it back on. Turn this one down, turn it on, And we have all of the inside circle corners now placed on the, on the sides. The next thing I'm going to do is to replace the ones on the top and bottom.